everyone, I'm Sylvia De Silva. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a self-taught artist and I'm here to help you all with things that you want to know about art. So in today's video, I will be telling you a little bit about safety issues when you are painting. A lot of us go ahead and paint stuff without realizing that most of the stuff that we're using, the art supplies that we're using, are really toxic. And without knowing this, if you continue working the same way without taking certain precautions, you might be in a little bit of trouble. So let me tell you a few things that you need to follow to keep yourself safe while you are painting. The first and foremost rule, do not eat while you are painting. You have your hands covered in paint or you have paint around you and you're eating at the same time. No, do not do that because you may ingest whatever you're using. You may ingest some paint and that is really not good for health. A lot of us are so excited when you see people painting with their hands, with their fingers and the amazing effects that come out when you do that. But you do not realize that it may also affect your skin. So make sure when you have the mood to paint with your fingers, wear gloves or just don't do it at all because brushes do a pretty good job brushes or even knives don't feel like you have to paint with your fingers because you don't know what kind of paints you're using if you are absolutely a hundred percent sure that your paints are not toxic then feel free go ahead and do that Third thing, this is something I didn't realize for quite some time. If you are a fan of airbrushing, you use airbrushing techniques in your paintings a lot, then make sure you either wear a mask or wear goggles, whatever suits you. A lot of people can do without protective goggles or protective glasses, but I would definitely suggest using a mask because if you're airbrushing frequently, it means the paint is in the air around you. It's not just going onto the canvas, it is also coming on you and you are inhaling it, which may in the long run lead to respiratory disorders and we certainly don't want that to happen. So make sure you wear a mask when you are airbrushing. The fourth point, make sure you wear a mask when you're using solvents like turpentine. Uh, we are in India and we do not get Mona Lisa odorless paint thinner here. And a lot of us are using either Camel, Distant Turpentine or any other brand. We're using turpentine and inhaling that for a very long time that is not really good for you so make sure you wear a mask and protect yourself from inhaling turpentine and causing any future problems or some people are really allergic to these smells so make sure you keep yourself safe the fifth point Ensure you have good ventilation, especially in your painting room. You do not want to keep inhaling the turpentine that you just used. If your room is well ventilated, the smell will just go off in about a few minutes. But if you are sitting in a closed room and using the same solvents or the same toxic uh, art supplies, you may keep inhaling them and it might cause problems. Most of you may already know this, but paints are highly flammable and you do not want a fire in your room. Well, you don't want that to happen. So make sure you don't have any matches or lighters or anything in your painting room.
the next point make sure you keep your paints and art supplies out of reach of your kids and pets you do not want them opening them up and putting it in their mouths so make sure you keep all these things out of reach of pets and kids make sure you dispose of your rags as soon as you're done with it you do not want it lying around same reason your pets may come in contact with it your kids may go pick it up so keep your rags away the rags that you use to wipe off paint or whatever just get rid of it as soon as you're done with your day's painting work and the last point wash your hands properly once you are done if you're not using gloves then make sure once you're done painting we always get paint on our hands when we are painting even a little bit is bad you do not want to eat with those same hands after you're done painting so make sure you wash your hands properly you scrub them off so there is no more paint left on it and only then go ahead and do the rest of your work so thank you for watching i hope these points helped you and make sure you follow these certain instructions so it may be beneficial to you and it may not cause you any harm so happy painting enjoy have fun and keep experimenting i'll see you next week